Yes, Welcome sir. to Berman Veg. Oh, thanks. I am happy to be here. Okay. <laughs> yes. is, it, is it your first time here in Birmingham? Yes. Yes. It's my first, first time. Okay. What about in the UK? No, this is my second time in the UK. It feels like my first though, because... Okay. <laughs> when was the first time you came here? Um, it was about two years ago. Yeah. Okay. And where did you go? L London? London, yeah. London okay. is where Anywhere we were. Anywhere else? No, that's where we were for, for that um, trip, so... Okay. Happy to get out and about and see other parts of England. Was so. you performing or you just came for a holiday or promotion? Yeah, we came for promotion at that time. Um, I was booked for um, an event during that time too. So, yeah, it was both, you know, a mm -hmm. little bit of both. So you think about the English weather, the British weather? <sighs> <laughs> Worse it's than it's New cold. Ah. <laughs> It's cold, you know. Uh, the first day we landed, it was nice and warm, and I say yes. The last time we came, actually, you guys had a heat wave during that time, okay. so it really feel like you know summer weather down there in um, Maryland. People was in shorts and everything, and turn on fun and all them something there. Mm -hmm. But um, this time it's like you gotta have your big jacket, your big coat. So okay. yeah, lay the flames. <laughs> yes, sir. I've known you for a long time. For long, a, long time. Over ten years, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, man. And we never get to link you before. It's like a pleasure for a meeting for the first time. So, give the people in my door really familiar with Lady Flames. Give them an insight about you, where you're coming from, and how you got started in the business. Go by, I go by Lady the Flame now. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But I did start out as Lady Flame. And um, so in the business, um, I started from singing from the age of two years old. And um, within dance hall, I was known as Lady Flame, as, as you said. And then mm -hmm. um, about a few years ago, you know, um, we kind of did like a little transformation um, into another genre area of music, which, was, which is gospel. Okay. And um, that's where the name The Flame come from. Okay, so asking, yeah, <laughs> dropping eight. yeah. Oh, so um, yeah, yeah. but it's the same person. <laughs> so you know what I mean. So I them embrace both names, and I didn't. I definitely wanted to bring them together. So that's why it's Lady the Flame. Um, but it's the same Lady Flame of people you know seen within the music business for um, over twenty years. Over yeah, twenty over years. 20 years oh, yeah. Well, yeah. So um, how did you get started in the business? Wow. Um, well, I love music, and um, I've been singing from the age of two um, within church. And um, my family, you know, saw that I had a gift, so they embraced it and, you know, pushed me into that, um, into that area of music to sing. So, you know, as you get, you get older and you grow, you know, you find out it's something you love to do. And then, you know, of course, um, with the Jamaican culture, I embrace that. So started out, you know, started to go dance and parties and, you know, stuff like that and take the mic and, so you know. So DJing on sound systems? Yes, like DJing on sound. That was record good days. Good sound, good sound. Oh, boy. Can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> so back then it was, you know, Earthquake, um, um, Delta Force, um, Millennium. Uh, it was a lot of sounds back then, um, you know, back in that era. And um, that was also like cassette tape days, you know what I mean? So, you know, I would just record, you know, run the rhythm and, and, and we just record off of that our freestyle. And then also within high school, you know, we just do a little clash there. So that's where the clash side of me come in. And, um, you know, I just embraced reggae music from then, you know, reggae, dance, all the whole culture from that time. So let the people know which part of the world you're from. Yeah, so I'm from DMV, big up the DMV, <laughs> that's D.C., Maryland, Virginia, okay. that's in the USA. I was actually born in Washington, D.C., you know, with Jamaican um, parentage, so both parents are from Jamaica, my entire family is from Jamaica. Um, I would just happen to be the generation born abroad, so, you know, I'm from the DMV area, D.C., Maryland, Virginia, and... So is that where you reside now? Yes, that's okay, where I reside. I, I always now. thought you was from New York. <laughs> no, but many people think so because I frequent New York a lot. Okay, a you lot. New yes. York, you come from. Yes, and a whole lot. Live. Yeah, see. So we learn something. New <laughs> yes, yes. Um, what about the artists that were inspire you? Name out some of the artists, them reggae artists, them reggae artists. Um, um, of course, um, Phyllis Dillon. Um, of course, um, if we're talking about females, Marcia Griffiths. Um, I love Tanya Stevens. I love um, Lady Saw. 
Um, I love Queen Africa. I love, you know, I love a lot of them for their their type of talent that they have. Mm-hmm. Males, I love Barris, I love Bounty, you know, me and him have this the bird yes, next to each other. So, <laughs> you know, if a fiery spirit, I love Boy, I love so many of them, you know what I mean? Because everybody has their own different gifts and because I'm a true musician. Have them yeah, style, they have know? their own sound, yeah. you know, I'm I'm a love that about them. So what about R and B artists? Name some of them what Wow, you get into that now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know you gotta love Whitney. Um I, I love yeah. Whitney Houston. Um I love Lauren Hill. Um oh, wow. I love Macy Gray, you know. Music is just something that's just like, to me, it's like being a kid in a candy store. You know, there's so many different flavors that I love and take on to, you know what I mean? So um, that's the women. The males, um, I love Michael Jackson, <laughs> of course. Yeah. I love me some Barry White sometimes, you know. I love, um, boy, so much Neo, you know, um, to name a few. Because uh, there's, there's many of them that have extremely extraordinary gifts. So the name Lady Flames, who yes. is that name there? That was what, given to me. <laughs> what that name the drop in? That was given to me in school, actually. Um, because, like I said, during lunchtime, we used to always um, clash our run rhythm and just freestyle during lunchtime. Um, you know, and because I was like one of the only females really to go up against the, the guys. <laughs> um, I would sing and DJ. So they, they're like, yo, when you sing, you, you know, you're so smooth and everything, but you have the fiery side of you when you start DJ. Okay. So they say, remind them of, you know, fire like a flame, yeah, like, yeah. like it warm you, but yet it can you burn you. Burn yeah, it can burn you at the same time. So from then I just stick with the name and you know, they always been calling me flame, flame, flame. So I stuck with it since then. Okay. Um. What about your team? Tell us about the team, your management. Yes, um, Big Up Rob on Productions. Is he your manager? Yes, that's my I'm manager. I'm a virgin, you know, from <laughs> good good, 1914, years. right? <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, um, he's not just my manager, but also my producer. Okay. So um, the majority of our tracks, um, Rob on Productions, um, that's how that come into play, RP Record. Um, you know, it's a, it's a big production, so, you know, it's everything. It's, you know, management, um, producing and everything. And you know already that um, Raban is, is, is a well, um, how should I say? Um, well known. Well known, known. Yeah, well known and well educated mm-hmm. within the music business and um, the sound business as well. So with those um, information that he has and those knowledge, he's able to instill it, you know, within me as, as a rising artist mm-hmm. and within our production and the, mu- the music side of it. So, you know, it it's, it's definitely has been fun, <laughs> sometimes treacherous, because, <laughs> you know, he knows he knows what he wants, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, in, yeah. In, in the, in, um, you just got to give it you to him. Go for less than nah, that. nah, nah, nah. <laughs> so, way more than to no. Yes, Forget it. yes. So, you know, he's the name, Raw Born. Raw Born, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but um, definitely you hear the quality in the music. And um, all the projects that we put forth, you know, um, you can hear the quality in it from a sound man perspective. You know, you guys know Mm -hmm. what definitely can fly through the business and what people can hear and gravitate to. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so he uses those talents and gifts um, within, you know, the projects that I do. Mm -hmm. So, big up yourself again. What (laughs) other producers that you've worked with? Yes. What are the other producers there? Yeah, I've worked with many um, over the years, um, but yeah, but uh, the latest one um, I can say is Pot of Gold, um, Richie Stevens. Okay. Um, yeah, so so far to date we've done two two major projects with him. Um, we just had a one that just released under Friends and Family Rhythm. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a sing over on that. We belong together. Before that, the big song with me and Beanie Man, um, No Obia Man. So, um, you know, big up yourself, Richie Stevens, and, and we're working actually on a new project together um, that we will be dropping um, very, very soon. Okay. You know, I got to also big up Basco House. Um, this is on the gospel side now. Mm-hmm. Um, we've worked on a few projects with them as well. Um, one of my um, well known tracks is God Alone. Um, and, you know, their production is, is awesome as well. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of producers we've worked with, you know, over. Um, you know, the past years. Okay. So So what about in England? Have you worked with any producers over here like Stingray or, um, or Right, not not lately, but 
I will say, I know I've liked some songs years ago for quite a few of them. So, um, you know, we I don't know what happened, you know, or if it will soon come, you know. I, I did voice a few years ago with Upset Records, um, you know, so, and I have actually their project on one of my albums. So, you know, there's quite a, there's quite a few here and there. Um, but, but, you know, lately, like, you know, recently, um, no. So out of all of them places where you visit, which one was the most memorable place? So you're trying to get me in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> why, is, why was it? You're trying to get me in trouble. Um, <laughs> um wow. I, I can't, to be honest, um, there's not a favorite. And let me tell you why. Um, what I what I love about everywhere that we go, um, it's it's like the people are so welcoming. Mm -hmm. Like it just feel like home. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. everywhere we go, like it's just like you can't name yeah. One place. You know what I mean? It's like the love us, the yeah. love that we receive there. Like it just like say all right, you know these are my folks, and it's like, and that's a good thing because then you feel like everywhere you go, you feel like you live there. Yeah, <laughs> you know true, what I mean? True, true, so yeah, I definitely don't. I don't have a favorite. As yet. Not not, as not yet. yet, no. Okay. Um, have you done any collaborations with any artists? If so, which artists? Yeah, so um, one that will be dropping soon is Richie Stevens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and as I mentioned earlier, Beanie Man, um, me and Marion Hall have a collaboration as well. Okay. Um, is it a gospel song? Yes, or? it's a gospel song. Um, me and Glamour Wayne, Musical Messiah, have a combination. Glamour Wayne, the selector? Yes. Okay, from Gemini? Yes, okay. yes, you yes. Everyone was saying DJ too. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you need to hear that song. It's, it's, it's entitled Still the Prior, and it's actually doing very, very well, especially in Jamaica. Okay. You probably hear it and don't even know Satin. Yeah, true, yes. true. So, true. you know, um, I have one with um, G Fuss. I'm still in love, mm -hmm. um, you know, as well. That's um, also on the gospel side. Um, I have one with um, Courtney mentioned, um, Youngster Pasta. And, you know, we have some that is coming down the line as well. So Okay. So if there was an artist you could have do a collaboration with, <laughs> I'll put you on the spot again. <laughs> Who would that be? <sighs> now you're making me want to choose. I'm going to want a woolly for them. You can't choose. Um, <laughs> Alone. Right, right. I definitely want one with Barris. I definitely want see one with there, Barris. See um, I definitely want one with Killer, Monty Killer. I'm Busy Signal. I love Busy Signal talent because, you know, he's so, like, multi-talented in, in, in um, DJ and singing and everything mm -hmm. like that. Um, that's just to name a few, you know what I mean, as far as that goes. Okay. Um, your latest song, the Phyllis Dylan medley. Mm -hmm. How did that come about? Who was the mastermind behind that song? There? Uh, well, you know you're gonna say right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was him. Was it his idea? His idea. Okay. Um, we were already working on the Lovers Rock album. You know, we planned to put that out, and um, since I'm well known in the gospel. Um, you know, he said, you know what? Um, let's. I think it'd be a good idea to do like you know. A, a little, um, like a medley um, as as far as um, some of the songs go for Phyllis because it'll be like a good introduction to the Lovers Rock mm -hmm. um, album and, you know, also to um, reggae as far as that genre of music. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, as far as choosing the songs, the first one, um, If You Knew, has always been one of my favorites. I've always wanted to be sing that for years. And um, Profidia um, is one of his favorite. And then Win or Lose is a common one I do. You know, when I do reggae sets or if I do dub plates. Yeah, so so that how many songs are on the medley? Three. Okay, okay. So it's three of them. So, um, you know, we put, we put our heads together and um, him as the producer, you know, we decided we wanted to still captivate some of the old sounds of it, you know, mm -hmm. but in, you know, in put some new sound into it, but still so that you can hear, like it gives you a nostalgic feeling. So from you hear it, you know, you already identified it with the original, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, when you, when you do songs like that over, or you, or you touch on hit songs like that, you definitely want to do it justice, you know what I mean? You yeah. don't just want to do it, you know what I mean? Justice, yeah, man. Yeah, so. Woolly. Where was it recorded, in, in um, America? Yes, it was, it was recorded right in the DMV. Okay, your yeah. side? Yes, my okay. side. Okay, I yes. thought you would have said New York again. <laughs> no. <laughs> but me wrong. Yes. Mm -hmm. You said something about Lover's Rock album? Yes. When so this is my very first, um, if you want to say, reggae Lover's Rock album. And the album is entitled Lover's Rock. So that's actually the title of the album, mm -hmm. is Lover's Rock. 
So you're here in the UK. Is mm -hmm. promotion promotion wise you're here? Uh, have you done any shows while you're here? Will you be doing any more shows? Yeah, um, um, I'm, I did um, War Report Anniversary mm -hmm. um, just a few days ago, and I have another How show. How did that go for you? Oh, that went very well. Um, you know, I love War Report. Uh, everybody mm -hmm. know I love the the Clash um, culture. And um, I have a, an event that I am also on Saturday. I'll be on Davda's Birthday Bash, the Pure Vibes yeah. um, event. On Sunday, I'll be at Soul Sundays. So, okay. um, yeah, and a few more places. If we can touch, we'll touch, definitely. Or so pass when through. will we see you here in Birmingham? I'll put on something for you. Y'all got to bring me back. Yeah. <laughs> you got to bring me back, um, definitely. Um, it's my first time being here and looking around, and I'm like, wow, you know. So I definitely want to come back, get to know the place, you know, meet the folks up here and everything like that, and you know, so put it together, cause yeah. yeah. So if I, <laughs> if I promote, promote I, I, I watch the interview now. I want to right reach out to you. Or how would he reach out to you? Whatever. Yeah. So the person to contact would be Robon, um, as we mentioned before. That's also management. Um, the number for that is 240-305-6959. That's 240-305-6959. And um, that's the WhatsApp number, so it doesn't matter where you are in the world. You can reach us. Um, and or also... Email address. Right. Email address is rawborn.productions, with an S, at gmail.com. So that's rawborn dot productions at gmail dot com and on social media networks you can just plug in Lady Flame RP RP stands for Robin Productions so definitely follow me on social media IG put in Lady Flame RP TikTok you, you know all of them Facebook everything mm -hmm. put it put it in follow me subscribe especially to my YouTube page um, you mentioned Phyllis Dillon um, the tribute mm -hmm. um, the video the official video for that actually dropped two weeks ago. So okay. definitely, guys, visit the YouTube okay. page and run up the numbers, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, no, Watch definitely. that and let us know what you think, you know what I mean? Be a part of the movement. Mm -hmm. so. um, what would you say to, like, the up-and-coming artists, female singers who would mm -hmm. like to make it like yourself? What's your message to them? Well, just keep on working hard, you know, especially at your gift. Um, keep on embracing it. Learn every day the more that you can, you know. Keep pushing yourself. To into greatness, because sometimes you might think, say, you reach already, but there's more there. Wally, 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 more there. Yeah. Work never stops. No, never stop. Yeah. Is there anyone you want to big up while you're here? Anyone <laughs> you meet in England or even your friends and family overseas? Well, I, I got to big up everybody. Definitely big up DMV. Um, that's home. You know what I mean? Definitely big them up. Big up the entire UK. Big up the entire USA. Jamaica. I'll be there next month. And, you know, I have to say that the supporters is large. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm grateful for each and every one of them. You know, wherever you come from, each share, each like, you know, all of that. I really appreciate you guys, your support across the globe. I don't want nobody to feel left out. That's why, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? True, true. So, you know, definitely want to big up everybody worldwide. Well, thanks for coming to our city. Welcome to Birmingham again. Thank you. And we hope to see you here real soon. Real soon. Put on a proper show for you. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? Yes. So, promoters, you know, hear the address and the links and the phone numbers. You know, get to our, you understand, because our artists where I go on with a bag of things right now. You see yes. me, I say? Yes. So, before we leave now, just going to ask you to give me a cappella. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. For Big Jan New Thousand, please and thanks. Sure. So here's a piece of the big tune um, that's number one mm -hmm. for the fourth consecutive week on the FRN New York reggae charts. Mm -hmm. um, definitely. Um, Sleepy Big Up Yourself, NCMG Sony. Um, that is who's also behind um, the Phyllis Dillon tribute medley. Clinton Lizzie, Big Up Yourself. If you knew how much I love you. How much I need you, you wouldn't stay away. <laughs> if you knew you were my one desire, Big John set my soul on fire, you wouldn't stay away. Now, Big John, I know 
You have found another girl. True, true. She treats you nice, I know. She's even more beautiful than I. But if you knew how my heart burns for you and how I long for you, you wouldn't stay away. No respect. Thanks for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. And I hope to see you, like I say, real soon. Back yes. in at the UK, real back soon. in a Birmingham veg, I put on a proper show for we. Yes, so definitely. give thanks for taking time to leave from London to come all the way here, so if you make this happen. Much love and respect. Thank you yeah? so much. Yes, bless you. And all the best for the future.